What's up, y'all? Jonathan Joyner here. I know you're used to seeing us in the race shop or at the racetrack. We're doing a little something different for Speed Weeks. Each night after the races, we're going to go live here on YouTube to talk about it, discuss it, debate, and interact with you all. We hope you join us and catch us live, but if not, we're going to upload the videos after the fact as well, and we're going to keep right on making our usual videos from the race shop and from the racetrack. going to be a lot of content, a lot of fun. We hope you join us, and we hope you enjoy it. What a race. Fellas, was that not a heck of a race or what? Boys, I'm still trying to catch my breath over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I did some hooping and hollering through that, yeah, that I, one. I got in Listen. a little trouble for waking up the baby. Mm. Listen, <laughs> that right there is what they call a classic burn barner. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, uh, go ahead. Uh, what, uh, uh, what? The best <laughs> part was you didn't expect it. No. no. Like, who here yeah. thought it was going to be a snoozer? Of a race. I did. I, I no, mean, well, I don't. No. I don't think there was a single pass in prelim in any heat race or B main for the. We series. made up for it in the feature. I was gonna say. So I guess. It's would worth you, would you rather have like exciting that. heats or an exciting feature? It's a good yeah. point. Ah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mean, so features and, and exciting and features important. It's preferred. so if yeah. y'all are here, we're assuming you know what happened. If not, though, Devin Moran just won a heck of a race at Volusia to open up the World Outlaw season. We had four lead changes. Uh, Ethan Dotson, then Pierce, then RTJ, then Moran. And then it come down to it. looked like, I mean, it, the only thing that was lacking was the finish of the race was a little bit, a little bit, not quite as good no, as it could last, have been. The last, what, four, three, four, five laps really was all. I mean, everything was shaping up to be like the, the end of it. One more pass come in there with Shepard hard charging from 16th there. Uh, I think. I really think he was probably a little or the best there, um, but he got held up there in lap traffic a little bit. And uh, had had that. that not happened, what is it? Uh, Kyle Bronson holds him up with two, yeah. three to go. I think you could have had one of them nail biters all the way to yeah. the end. Yeah, yep. Yeah, but, he was still pretty close, even though he got held up twice right. by, by Bronson there. So yeah, you'd like to see what had happened if he got clear of him when when Moran did. Race of the year, forget about it. I mean. Yeah. I mentioned it earlier, but had it if the finish could have matched the middle yeah. of the race, it it could have had the potential to be the race of the year. But sure you know, it have. you know, it just it just didn't quite. It, it's got to have everything to be race of the year. It's got to have beginning, middle, and end. And and at the end, it was kind of settled. They were racing hard for second though. Um, no doubt, that's was, for sure. That was it was fun to watch, man. We were sitting here and just all of us talking at the same, you know, seeing it and looking at it like we were there, you know, watching on Dirt Vision. It was it was really entertaining there. At first, you think the Dotson might might run away with this thing, and then uh, here comes Pierce, and oh Pierce is going to go away with it, and then here comes RT, and it's, oh RT's going to run away with it, and then here comes Moran, oh Moran's going to run away with it, and then Shepard got there close and got pinned up, but so it, our, it was a good one. Our buddy Craig Rouse said what Joseph said while we were watching it. I won't say exactly what Joseph said, but he wasn't happy with Bronson. <laughs> well, I mean, you watching it, it's like you, you know Shepard's coming, and it's like it's not that you know I would have been happy with whoever it would have been. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like Keep it on the bottom. Bronson just happened yeah. to be the car that was in the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, dang it, you know, like if Shepard can get to it, like clear his quarter panel there and get you know get out there out outside of him at least down the front straightaway, um, and keep Moran right there. It there's probably another pass for the lead before it's all said and done. It definitely um, felt like Shepard had the car to go, to go yeah. be the, like he had the fastest car at the end. Right. I mean, he came from where did you say he started? Sixteenth. Sixteenth, the second that. for Shepard. That's impressive. Yeah, my thing about this race though is, like, I almost texted y'all. You know, we're all watching it and we're texting back and forth, like, you know, things like, man, these six o fours sure are acting like six o twos tonight, stuff like that. You know, and I almost texted y'all during the heat races. This is gonna be a snoozer. Yeah. Like that's the way it felt, right? That right. this one line is it's kind of pretty fast, too fast around the bottom yeah. is what it felt like to be be a good race. So it's cool to like I, I seriously thought we were gonna sit there and watch a boring race, and it turned out to be a heck of a race and uh a heck of a way to kick off the season. Yeah. It, it just uh, goes to show you never know. You never know. You, know. you just never know. It's you the track know. and widen out, slow down a little bit and widen out, you might have a good race. So it yeah. felt like early on the Ethan Dotson, like 
Joseph was he blasted off. Joseph was trying to call it on lap two. Ethan Dotson's gonna win this race. No, I'm like he's looking good. Like usually, a lot of times, you know, you get somebody up there like somebody like if it was me on pole, I'd be happy to take off and lead the first lap. Mm -hmm. You know, without falling back to third. <laughs> hey, or anything four. I mean, that's a bonus, man. I mean, I'm just saying, like that. That's a that's a feat. You know, it what is. I'm saying? It, is like, it is. You, you mean you you know you don't know you don't know how good those guys are at like just doing the start and going around the first couple laps there because everybody knows that if you can get out front, um, that that certainly ups your chances at winning the thing. So, you know, Pierce was doing all he could, uh, to clear him off the start, knock down the back straightaway right there on the first couple laps, and then. You know, Dodson keeps on and, uh, you know, goes on and leads four or five, six laps, whatever, however many laps. I don't remember. But for a second there, I mean, he pulled off a little bit, you know, from him and uh, looked really good. So uh, hats off to him. Uh, I think he's going to gonna run really well. Maybe we – I'm sure we'll race him some through the year. No the doubt. series and everything. Um, he's a pretty good competitor. So it felt like he got to lap traffic, though, and he just couldn't quite make the, the moves that he needed to make to keep Bobby behind him. Well, yeah, it's just it like what I was – yeah, and like I was, we were pointing it out there in the feature race, just how much, like at that kind of at a place like Belusia that was so fast there tonight, and uh, so the if you're not in the right part on right little spot on the racetrack, um, you can easily just slow down a half a second, like you know as as quick as you could get one, you just lose it. You can and, give up a half a um, straightaway real quick, like yeah, and no in no time at all. It's very easy to do there. You get sucked up behind somebody and catch them at the wrong spot or. Uh, just try to maneuver around someone and find yourself in the dead part of the racetrack just for just a second. And someone that's been wound up, uh, hooked up where they need to be, uh, just real year right in. So, um, real, real tough little joint there. Big or real tough, big joint there. Big. <laughs> <laughs> so Pierce gets by Dotson and then it's like, well, Pierce is going to win this race. Like it's over. Pierce has got it. Reigning champion set to do it again. Told you, Joshua. By the way, we picked our champion. You know, who's going to be World Outlaws champion? Jo we all three, me, Joseph, Jesse, pick Pierce. Joshua picks Madden. I was like, there you go, Joshua. Done messed up. Yeah. Hey, um, wait, speaking of Madden. I think he was eighth. Eighth. Nine, eighth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. According to Dirt on Dirt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But uh, so it looks like. Of, hey, I just want to go back to that because y'all thought, y'all all picked Pierce. And in fact, I think the question was, if I had to bet my house, would I actually have picked <laughs> madden and i said if i could pick not pierce like i i would i think i would pick i don't think pierce repeats and i actually lean towards more really more thing about shepherd and then tonight you see shepherd come out and you know uh, he looks pretty he looked good to be the fastest he, car yeah so I, I i think he's carrying the momentum from the end of last year into into the season so it's 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 going to be pretty exciting uh, so pierce leads and then rtj gets by him drives by him on the top did he not mm. Yes, I he mean, did. Drove by Blue him. is I, I had typed the title to our stream here. <laughs> you know, opener at Volusia. Thornton blows Bobby's doors off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Um, you weren't gonna post that. <laughs> <laughs> typed out though. RTJ blows Pierce's doors off. Stuns Pierce. I think is yeah. what I had. Uh, and then it's like, oh, there it is. It's done. RTJ has won. And uh, I I had already closed out of the stream, but y'all said he he run out of tear offs. That's what RT said in the uh, his post race interview that like 15 to go he runs out of tear offs and he had to uh, back up and kind of uh, ride around in the bottom a little bit and I guess he couldn't see so uh, yeah. uh, so I guess then that that really sucks you anyway, know I think every racer has been there uh, yeah. Jesse more probably more than he, most people because he only starts with five <laughs> and, 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 and then um, I rip them all off in one pull one <laughs> yeah RTJ gets out front um, if there's a caution. Pretty quick thereafter, or you know, a perfectly timed caution, he wins the race. I feel like because he possibly. doesn't, he doesn't, you know, he has a lot better chance. Right. He doesn't get in lap traffic and and yep. have that issue, have that to deal with. But didn't work out that way. And the next thing you know, uh, I know Joseph saying, "Here comes Shepard, here comes Shepard," and then I'm like, "Here comes Moran," and and yeah. it's just you had a three car battle there for or just real tight through lap traffic for the lead. Moran gets by. Uh, RTJ and goes on to win the race. And like I said, it, to me, the best part about it is you had a thriller of a race when you least expected it. Yeah. It was, uh, 
the track starting out, it, it was just so narrow. They had the rain last night, and it just looked a lot, like, really muddy up top where you wasn't going to ever be able to get up there. And they were able to widen it out somehow and actually put on a really good race. Heck of a race. 